In the previous video, we had learned how to read numbers from 51 to 60 in terms of ones and tens. In this video, we will learn numbers from 61 to 70 and some interesting examples on how to read those numbers in terms of ones and tens. Children, today Choto with his friends is going on a school tour to a candle making factory where beautiful candles are being made and then sent to shops where these are sold. Oh, Pinky, look, this place has so many candles. Yes, but how do these people count so many candles? Come, let me tell you. They first put 10 candles in each box. Right now, we have six such boxes in front of us. So, can you tell me how many candles must be there in total? Yes, see, there are six boxes with 10 candles in each of them. Six boxes would mean 60 candles. Chota, look, there are four more candles. Please count these as well. We have six boxes of candles here, which means 60 candles. And four more along with these comes to 61. 62, 63 and 64. These are 64 in total. Pinky, can you tell me how many 1s and 10s are there in 64? Yes, 64 has 6 10s and 4 1s. Excellent, you are absolutely correct. A little later, Chotu and Pinky found some more candles there. Come, let us see what they are doing now. Oh, look Pinky. Some more candles. Yes, Chotu. Let us count these also. Earlier we had a total of 64 candles. And now we have 5 more. Children, do you know how many candles have Chotu and Pinky seen so far? Come, let us find. After 64 candles, it will be 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So these are now 69 candles. Chotu, can you tell me how many 10s and 1s are there in 69? 69 has 6 10s and 9 ones. Yes, Chotu, you are right. Earlier we saw 6 groups of 10 candles each and then we saw 9 loose candles, which means 9 ones. Yes, Pinky, counting candles was a lot of fun today. Children, you saw how Chotu and Pinky counted candles. They had 69 candles, which means 6 tens and 9 ones. Children had Chotu and Pinky got one more candle, then what would have become the total number of candles? They would have got 70 candles. Meaning, after 6 groups of 10 candles, they would have got one more bundle of 10 candles. This means 7 tens. That was all for today, children. In this video, we have learned about numbers from 61 to 70 and saw some interesting examples about how to read those numbers in terms of 1s and 10s. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to numbers from 51 to 70 and discuss some common mistakes that we should avoid. Until then, bye children.